introduction of a central bank digital currency will give a boost, a big boost to digital economy. Digital currency will also lead to a more efficient and cheaper currency management system. It is therefore proposed to introduce digital rupee using blockchain and other technologies to be issued by the Reserve Bank of India starting 2022 and 23. Financial assistance to states for capital investment. Reflecting the true spirit of cooperative federalism, the central government is committed to bolstering the hands of the states in enhancing their capital investment towards creative, creating productive assets and generating remunerative employment. The scheme for financial assistance to states for capital investment has been extremely well received by the states. In deference to the requests received during my meeting with the chief ministers and state finance ministers, the outlay for this scheme is being enhanced from 10,000 crores in the budget estimates to 15,000 crores in the revised estimates for the current year. For 22-23, I'll repeat that sentence for the benefit of many of our honourable members. In deference to the requests received, from, received during my meeting with chief ministers and state finance ministers, the outlay for this scheme is being enhanced from 10,000 crores in the BE to 15,000 crores, 15,000 crores in the RE of the current year. For 22-23, the allocation is 1 lakh crores to assist the states in catalyzing the overall investments in the economy. These 50-year interest-free loans are over and above the normal borrowings allowed to the states, are over and above the normal borrowings to the states. This allocation will be used for PM Gati Shakti related and other productive capital investments of the states. It will also include components for supplemental funding for priority segments of PM Gram Sadak Yojana including support for the state share, digitization of the economy, including digital payments and completion of OFC network, and reforms related to building bylaws, town planning schemes, transit-oriented development, and transferable development rights. In 22-23, in accordance with the recommendations of the 15th Finance Commission, the states will be allowed a fiscal deficit of 4% of the GSDP, of which 0.5% will be tied to power sector reforms, for which the conditions have already been communicated in 21-22. Fiscal management. As against a total expenditure of 34.83 lakh crores of rupees projected in the BE 21-22, the revised estimate is 37.70 lakh crores. The revised estimate of capital expenditure is 6.3 lakh crores of rupees. This includes an amount of 51,971 crores towards settlement of outstanding guaranteed liabilities of Air India and its other sundry commitments. <laughs>